this is Sarah from Simply Real Health, here with another easy, healthy, and real food recipe for you. So today I'm going to show you how to make quinoa and how easy it is. So if you can pronounce this grain, you've got the hardest part done. Um, this is a great grain because it's, first of all, whole grain, a true whole grain. Um, second, because it's naturally gluten-free. Third, because you can really kind of change it and morph it into all these different flavors. It will taste like whatever you put with it. And fourth, my favorite is because it's the fastest cooking grain out there and tops out at 10 minutes max to have perfect quinoa. So I will show you how to do it. So the first basic steps are similar no matter what you're doing. So step number one, you are going to measure out your grain, which is always um, double the amount of water as it is to the grain. So right now I have half a cup of quinoa, pouring it in the pot, to one cup of water. Not too hard to figure out. So we're going to pour that in. We're going to add a little bit of sea salt. Um, and make sure with your sea salt it's slightly tinted, like orange, green, um, a little pink maybe. Um, and that means it's true sea salt from the earth. So we have everything in our pot. All I'm going to do is bring the water to a boil, cover it, and then we'll be right back. So if you're going to make your quinoa plain and keep it plain and simple, and that would be the case if you're using it something for something more savory, like a stir fry or putting it with vegetables um, or mixing it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and frozen veggies. That's a great easy meal. But today we're going to mix it up and get a little crazy and I'm going to um, show you how to make a morning quinoa, which I'm going to put some apples in it, some cinnamon, and then you can really select the rest of your toppings however you please. But the key factor here is after you put the cooking water on, you want to add your chopped apples or whatever fruit you're going to add so that they will kind of naturally soften and you'll get that kind of great apple pie flavor. So step number three is once the water has come to a full rolling boil, then you actually just turn the heat off and let everything sit for about 10 minutes and then you're done. Then you can add whatever toppings you want. So for this apple cinnamon version, I'm going to put some chia seeds in there. Um, which you can get at any health food store. They're full of omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for inflammation, um, full of fiber and kind of helps keep you full, and a little bit of protein in them too. I'm also going to put some raisins, some chopped almonds, um, a lot of cinnamon, a little bit of coconut oil, and a little bit of coconut flakes. But you can add whatever combination that you want. So now it's been about 15 minutes and I have let the quinoa sit on the stove with the apples and you can see right here. So then it's nice to set up a little toppings bar. So apples and cinnamon is a great combination if you want to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in. Um, I would try it first without any sweetener before you add anything in, but you can always add some maple syrup, some raw honey, or some organic grade B um, molasses. <clears throat> so I'm going to do some cinnamon, maybe a little bit of raisins in here, the chia seeds again, Give it a little crunch too, and um, a few slivered almonds, and there you have it. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is Sarah from Simply Real Health. If you like this video and want to see more like it, um, make sure you visit my website at simplyrealhealth.com and sign up for your free weekly email full of healthy tips, recipes, and ideas galore. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Sugar.